Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am Dean with Massabees at Gold and Silver, and today I've got a real treat for you. We have a 1902 San Francisco Barber Dime. PCGS graded it very fine, 25, and CAC gave it the green bean. Uh, this is really nice. Uh, as you probably know, the Barber Dime was designed by Charles E. Barber. He was the designer and the graver. And the mintage for the specific dime was 2070000 And, of course, this is a 90% silver and 10% copper coin, just like the Mercury Dimes and Roosevelt Dimes uh, in the background here. Uh, you will notice a little changes here and there with Massabees of Gold and Silver. We're just trying to make it a little bit nicer and a little bit more uh, easier to flow and, you know, all that good stuff. But enough about that. Let's, uh, let's take a look here uh, at this really beautiful Barber Dime. Um, I picked this up for a variety of reasons. Uh, one is the reverse of this coin, um, and we'll get into that a little bit later. And then the second here is I really like the patina on this. I like that kind of halo around the devices and the the uh, letters, the legends. Um, you know, the that kind of uh, like shadowing, if you will. Um, to me, it's really original, uh, makes everything kind of pop on the coin. Like, look at the S, look at the one dime, see how it really pops um, off of the surface here because of that kind of black highlighting, uh, especially the 1902 here and even the profile of Liberty. Let's get a closer look here. I just want to briefly talk about um, cleaning because as we get a closer look here, you're going to see um, a lot of hairlines. And for you collectors, uh, you know, those old, the, the new collectors out there, and you see hairlines like this, uh, don't be afraid of that. You know, th these are kind of the normal wear and tear lines. You know, these dimes were workhorses of our commerce. You know, these were being pulled out of pockets um, and coin purses on a daily basis to be spent. Um, and so a lot of these lines that we're seeing is just that normal wear and tear. Uh, now, granted, you know, every coin really underneath the grade of extremely fine and below, um, you know, th those are most likely have been touched in some way, either with a fingernail, taking a little dirt off, or maybe a handkerchief to wipe a little dirt off or whatever. So if you see that as cleaning, then yeah, pretty much every coin has been cleaned in some way. Um, I really t look at cleaning as someone deliberately trying to remove a mark with either an eraser or some sort of sharp edge to kind of, you know, take something off, um, you know, or whizzing a coin. That's another, that's a whole other thing, you know, so I don't know if you agree with me on that. Go ahead and put in the comments what you think a cleaned coin is or what your definition of a clean coin is. But to me, this is not a cleaned coin. This is a nice original coin. Um, one of the reasons why I bought this coin was the reverse. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of barbers. I literally only own four barbers. This is the fourth barber for me to, to own. Um, I don't really like them in lower grades. As soon as that jawline disappears, I find them to be quite ugly. Um, some people might even argue that this is an ugly coin, but to me, it's really not. And I'm going to get into that when we start going into the grading. But to me, it's got a great look. Uh, I really appreciate the tone, the uh, the patina on this coin. Um, but let's let's go ahead and talk about the grading. Uh, we're going to use the the official uh, ANA grading uh, guide or grading standards, I should say, for United States coins. Um, and as you can see here, right here, uh, the very fine what their what their definition is is light to moderate even wear, and all major features are sharp, which I think we all can agree on that. So very fine 30, the obverse, clear spots show, or sorry, wear spots show on leaves, cap, hair, and cheek. We can agree with that. Uh, bottom row of leaves is weak, but has some visible details. Liberty and liberty and band are complete. The reverse, wear shows on the two bottom leaves, but most details are visible. Nearly all the visibles in the ribbon bow and corn kernels are clear. Uh, very fine 20, it's a little bit lower. Uh, over half of the details still show in the leaves. Hair worn but bold, every letter in Liberty is visible. Um, and then the reverse, the ribbon is worn but some details are visible. Half the details in the leaves are clear. Bottom leaves and upper starks show wear spots. So let's go back to our coin here. I think you can all agree that the obverse um, very much fits that. We can see that the Liberty is complete. Um, even though the B is a little worn on the bottom, but it's still complete. 
the leaves there, we can see pretty much every leaf except those ones down by the ear. They're pretty well gone, but we can tell where they are, but you can see that there's a lot of wear. You can see, um, you know, even in the ribbon there as well, there's still a lot of detail showing there. Um, let's go back to the reverse here though. Um, this is the same reverse, I guess I should have said that. This is the same reverse as the Seated Liberty Dime. I think we talked about that in the other video. This is the cereal wreath. And look at the corn corn there, how little wear is on this corn cut or the current corn kernel. And then look at these leaves, especially the maple leaf and the oak leaf here. There are just a ton of detail there. And the ribbon, the same thing, is just a ton of detail. Um, obviously, there's no luster left. There's nothing at all. But again, this is just showing so much detail. This is just a really nice uh, reverse. And I just want to go back to the book here because I want to show you here. Um, this is extremely fine. So this is the extremely fine. And I'm not saying this coin is extremely fine. I'm not saying this coin is undergraded. It is definitely very fine. But I just want to show you the, the reverse here and just compare the picture here the drawn picture here of the reverse of the actual coin. Look at the leaves, especially those little maple leaves, or at least I think they're maple leaves, and the oak leaves. Look at the detail, and then look at here on the very fine. Look at the corn kernel on the very fine drawing, and then look at the corn kernel on the extremely fine. It just, you know, I, I, to me it's worth noting just how beautiful, and it also shows how coins wear. Sometimes the the obverse wears much harsher than the reverse. In this case, I believe that's what's happened here. Um, you know, and I just, I don't know. Anyway, that's one of the reasons why I really like this, this coin. It just had a great look to me. Um, and, and that's one of the reasons why I picked it up. Go ahead and put in the comments if you think I'm just kind of out to lunch. That's fine. Um, but I just, you know, maybe I'm just agonizing over this coin too much. But I just think it's a great coin. Uh, like I said before, I'm not a huge fan of barbers, but um, I wanted to get this and add this to, to my small collection of barbers. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and please put in the comments what you think about grading, what you think about cleaning, uh, even what you think about barbers. You know, um, Let me know uh, as well. Maybe you might want to see something um, in future videos with us with Massabees of Gold and Silver. Um, you know, I know some people have reached out to us to do more silver stacking videos, and I, I might end up doing that. Um, some other folks uh, reached out and talked about uh, two cent coins. We do, we did just purchase a new two cent piece, so we might be doing a video in the near future with that. Put in the comments too what you're collecting right now. You know, maybe you're really into something and you want to share it. We'd love to hear about it. Anyway, until we meet again, stay safe and enjoy.